Big thanks to LEGO Weather for suggesting the idea for this video. If you have an idea for one of my next EAS videos, check out the link in the description. In this video, I reference an emergency pamphlet a lot, and it is actually real. I left it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Enjoy. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. Hurricane Lillian is expected to hit the Alabama shoreline within the next 20 to 60 minutes. All residents should now be indoors. All residents of Alabama that are not evacuated or sheltered in place should follow these instructions. It is too late to evacuate. Do not leave your house. It is too late to board up windows and doors. You should lock all windows and doors and barricade any large windows with heavy furniture. Get to the lowest interior room of your house. Stay away from windows. Keep a battery-powered radio along with spare batteries to monitor emergency channels. Hurricane Lillian will produce wind speeds of 125 to 130 miles per hour. Wind will cause damage to houses, roads, and power lines. Power outages will be common. Road conditions will be severely decreased. Do not travel until a few days after the storm to allow time for road crews to clean up the damage caused by the wind. Quarter size or bigger hail will cause damage to private residences and automotive. The storm is predicted to last from 32 to upwards of 60 hours. Make sure you have food, portable water, prescription medication, radios, and batteries for your stay in the shelter. The following message is broadcasted at the request of the Dothan Police Department. Damages from severe weather from the hurricane has damaged the walls and cooling systems in the Joseph M. Farley nuclear power plant, causing a meltdown and release of radioactive materials. Emergency systems were able to prevent the release and possible total meltdown at the plant, but some radioactive waste was able to escape. Officials are issuing an evacuation order for all residents living in the 5-mile danger zone. All residents living in the safety zones B5, C5, D5, E5, F5, I5, J5, and K5 should get to their designated reception center as outlined on page 5 of the 2015 emergency pamphlet. If you have misplaced your pamphlet, you should move at least 15 miles from Joseph M. Farley Nuclear Power Plant and seek out proper shelter. When evacuating, follow these instructions or refer to the emergency info pamphlet. Remain calm. Stay tuned to 560 AM, 99.7 FM, Channel 4, or Channel 18 for emergency updates. Grab the emergency pamphlet, something of identification, any important medical supplies, including prescription drugs, toiletry items, and baby supplies. The reception centers will provide food, bedding, and other emergency services. Turn off all appliances, lights, and water faucets. Lock all windows and doors. Tie a white cloth to your door or mailbox, then evacuate to your designated reception center. You may take your pets with you only if you do not plan to stay at a reception center shelter. Roads might be hard to access due to weather conditions. The county sheriff's office recommends that people use Interstate 84 for evacuation. Officials are issuing a shelter-in-place order for all residents living in the 10-mile danger zone. All residents living in the safety zones B10, C10, D10, E10, F10, G10, H10, I10, J10, and K10 should shelter in place. While sheltering in place, follow these instructions or refer the emergency info pamphlet. Stay indoors until further notice. Close all windows and doors. Turn off all fans, heaters, and air conditioners that use outside air. Only use your heating or cooling system to protect life or health. Do not use fireplaces. Close dampers or air intakes. 
Stay tuned to 560 AM, 99.7 FM, Channel 4, or Channel 18 for emergency updates. Be on the alert for a possible evacuation notice for your area. Do not leave shelter until an all-clear signal is given. Children who are in school during this emergency will be cared for. Do not go to the school. If your children are in school and the school is in an affected zone, they will be sheltered or sent to the reception center as needed. You will be told how to pick up your children when you get to the reception center shelter. Minimize telephone use during this emergency. If you have to leave your shelter, place a damp cloth over your nose and mouth. Any citizens that are in need of assistance due to a disability should call 229-723-3029. To repeat, an evacuation order is in effect for danger zones B5, C5, D5, E5, F5, I5, J5, and K5. A shelter-in-place order is in effect for danger zones B10, C10, D10, E10, F10, G10, H10, I10, J10, and K10.